Look at that. Yo, so I had a bit of a stroke of genius about um, last night. I was uh, thinking of these circuit breakers and the um, same way I bloody mount them on a board and that little uh, Lanson LCD. I was going to um, grab a, uh, a circuit board and uh, circuit breaker and closure off eBay, but I thought I might just cheap out and save a bit of money. And here's this stuff. This just works perfect as a redneck din rail. This is the um, clamp that goes around the uh, surround of a reprojection TV. They clamp around and hold the uh, Fresnel lens and the um, screen in place. I think they go on. I think they go on that way or something. Yeah, the black was on the outside, like that, and they hold the um, screen together. The uh, Fresnel lens, the actual uh, Perspex screen to the uh, front fascia. And they had these sitting around, so I thought. The the best shape I could come across for a din rail. And sure enough, whoops, I just fell straight to the gap. Just put them together like this, and what do you know? I'll get the tripod set up so you can see what I mean. They fit bloody perfect in there. So what I'll do, I'll gap it, clamp it, and I'll weld it to fit the contour of the back of this uh, um, circuit breaker here. Okay, viewers, that's better. So I'll get the little measurement here. Push the right arm on this carefully. I think I had it this way. Like that. I'm trying to hold this thing together, so I'll just get this um, bloody vice grip here. I'll adjust it to where I want it. So about there. Maybe more of a gap. Try that. And there you go. Once I straighten it out, but that holds quite well on there. A redneck din rail. How cool is that? Might have to uh, gap this wider a bit so um, these fit squarely. But that works quite well. That's more of a better fit. It's not completely there, but there you go. Because of this. Um, Din rail is not square, but it works. There you go. Redneck din rail. How cool is that? Okay, viewers, it's all done. I haven't got time to be fine, so I'm just going to drill the holes, flat, grind down the welds, drill the holes so I can mount it. And there we are. Beautiful. Redneck ingenuity for the win. Look at that. Awesome. Should also fit there. Yep, it does. Make sure it fits squarely. This end is a bit tight, so I might have to file a bit off this end, but it's not too bad. Ah, oh, well, I'll file that end then if I have to. That's pretty good. Awesome. There you go. Some redneck din rail on the cheap. Alright, viewers, that'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.